Welcome to a TV channel dedicated to all things technology. In this video, we will discuss AEM topics. Whether you are new to Adobe Experience Manager or a seasoned pro, this channel is the ultimate resource for everything related to AEM. My passion for AEM began years ago when I first discovered its powerful capabilities for creating engaging digital experiences. From building websites and managing content to personalizing customer experiences and analyzing data, AEM has the tools and features to take your online presence to the next level. Through this channel, I aim to share my knowledge and expertise on AEM topics, providing in-depth tutorials, tips and tricks, and best practices. From basic concepts to advanced techniques, my goal is to help you unlock the full potential of AEM and achieve your digital marketing goals. So whether you're looking to enhance your skills, stay up to date on the latest AEM trends, or simply learn more about this incredible platform, you've come to the right place. Join me on this journey of discovery and let's explore the world of AEM together. Next, I will be covering questions and answers on AEM scheduler's real-time scenarios. Note, for code, please follow the description. Question, explain in detail with different code snippets how Node APIs are used in AEM. Answer, Adobe Experience Manager is a content management system that is based on the Java platform. One of the ways AEM can be extended and customized is through the use of Node.js, a popular JavaScript runtime that can be used for server-side development. Node APIs can be used in AEM in several ways, including developing custom services and components, building integrations with third-party services, running build processes and tasks. In this answer, we will explore these use cases and provide code snippets to demonstrate how Node APIs can be used in AEM. 1. Developing Custom Services and Components Node APIs can be used to develop custom services and components that extend the functionality of AEM. For example, you may want to create a custom service that retrieves data from a third-party API and returns it to your AEM site. To create a custom service, you can use the Node.js API to define an express app that listens for HTTP requests. Here's an example, const express equals require, const app equals express, app.get updater equals greater than, divided by divided by retrieved data from third party API, const data equals, res.send, app, listen 3000 equals greater than, console.log. In this example, we define an express app that listens for get requests to the updater endpoint. When a request is received, we retrieve data from a third party API and send it back in the response. To use this service in AEM, you can create a custom Sling servlet that calls the node.js app using the HTTP client class. Here's an example, import out.apache.http.client.methods.httpjet, import out.apache.http.impl.client.closeablehttpclint, import out.apache.http.impl.client.httpclients, import out.apache.sling.pi.slingshttpsrvletrqest, import out.apache.sling.pi.slingshttpsrvletrespon.se, import out.apache.sling.pi.srvlts.slingshodsserverlet, Import java.io.ioxcpton. Public class my servlet extends sling safe methods servlet. At override, protected void do get throws IO exception. String URL equals HTTP divided by divided by localhost 3000. A predator try HTTP get HTTP get equals new HTTP get. String response body equals HTTP client. Executed get response 1 greater than. Int status equals response 1. Get status line. Get status code if return entity utils to string helps throw new client protocol exception. Response get writer write catch response set status. In this example, we define a sling servlet that calls the node.js app using the HTTP client class. When a get request is received, we create an HTTP get object with the URL of the node.js app and execute it using the HTTP client. We then retrieve the response body and write it to the Sling HTTP servlet response. 2. Building integrations with third-party services Node APIs can also be used to build integrations with third-party services that provide APIs. For example, you may want to integrate your AEM site with a service like Stripe to process payments. To build this integration, you can use the Node.js Stripe module to interact with the Stripe API. Here's an example, const stripe equals require, stripe, dear guys, I just wanted to take a moment to say a heartfelt thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. Your support means the world to me. 
and I am truly grateful for every single one of you who takes the time to watch my videos. Creating content for this platform is a passion of mine and it wouldn't be possible without your ongoing support. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. If you're enjoying my videos, there are a few things you can do to help support my channel and keep the content coming. Firstly, I would be over the moon if you could hit that like button and let me know that you're enjoying what you're watching. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Lastly, if you know someone who might enjoy my content, I would be eternally grateful if you could share my videos with them. Word of mouth is incredibly powerful and your support in spreading the word about my channel would mean the world to me. Thank you again for your support and I can't wait to continue creating content that you enjoy.